Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. Limousines drinking the finest champagne. Wearing the best caviar for free. And no matter how much I enjoy myself, they can't. Elaine, and we are here at the Long Island Film Expo, and I'm here with Ms. Debbie Markowitz, and she's in charge of this whole event, fabulous event, and we're here on the red carpet, and she's going to tell me what this, what goes into coordinating an event like this each year. Well, first of all, you have to be insane. Uh, second of all, it's scanning through hundreds of films, about 400 every year, and coming out with about 150. This year we have 156. We 156, had 156 wow. 156 that were shown. We have eight judges that go through all the films and come out with a selection. Uh, then the um, coordinating process is very difficult, putting it into the correct time slots, uh, slots for the audience that you believe will be here. Um, and then there's just all the other work that goes into it, um, tallying audience ballots and coming out with who the winners are and putting together the parties and the panels. And uh, you got to be a little nutty for this. But you love it. Oh, of course. Tell my audience how many different categories are up for awards this year. Okay. Well, there's a lot of different categories. Uh, you have usually best feature film 35 and video, best short film 35 and video, Best Animation, Best Documentary, Best Student Film, Best Foreign Film, a lot of different categories. There's probably 18 altogether. 18 altogether. Mm -hmm. Now, this also invites a lot of celebrities and a lot of actors and filmmakers. Tell my audience some of the prominent people that have come each year to this event. Uh, there's been so many, but I know that this year we're expecting Armand Asante, who is in Gotti and Hoffa and Q&A. Uh, Kathy Moriarty from Raging Bull is going to be here. Uh, Brian O'Halloran, who's done the Clerks movies, Clerks 1, 2, Chasing Amy, Dogma. He's going to be here, and he's come here almost every year. Uh, we also have uh, Ralph Macho has stopped by, although this year he can't, but he's been here several times in the past, as well as Steve Gutenberg and Cliff Robertson and, oh, so, so many celebrities. It's, it's unbelievable. The list goes on and on. Who would think in this tiny little theater in Belmore that it would attract so many Hollywood people? Well, it's the spirit of it. I mean, first of all, it's 320 seats, which is not so tiny. So we needed a theater that we could fill up when we needed to, that had a stage when we needed to have celebrities on stage speaking and have the award ceremony. And uh, we're directly north of the Belmore train station, so people can come in from the city as well as distributors. And it's absolutely the perfect location. It is the perfect location. Did you handpick the spot? I mean, how did you find this, this little jewel? Well, we started out showing at the Malvern Cinema, which is a much smaller theater um, because they have five screening rooms as opposed to one big one. Uh, basically, we outgrew it. And so as we were looking for another theater, the owners also own the Belmore. So we came and checked it out, and it was just perfect. It is perfect. So and as you can see, I'm pulling up with celebrities and movie stars getting out of the cars and filmmakers and directors. Mm -hmm. And it's really a very, very exciting day. I know because I've, I've been many times here at the Long Island Film Expo. And it's literally 10 minutes from my home since I live in Lido Beach. How could I miss this wonderful event, right? Exactly. I don't even have to give, get on the parkway. I live in Merrick, so it's perfect for it's me. It's perfect for <laughs> you. Um, is there any special film this year that you think is going, going to get many awards? Oh, there's so many. It, it's hard to say. I know Bereavement is a horror film, but it's very well made. It's got John Savage in it and Michael Bean from Terminator. and. I'm anticipating. Bereavement. Yes, Bereavement is the name. Uh, third film by a local filmmaker. We're expecting that to sell out. Uh, we also have Last Day of Summer that stars Nikki Reed from Twilight, as well as DJ uh, Qualls, who is in uh, Memphis Beat, which is a new show, and William Sadler from The Green Mile. And we're expecting a lot of action on that as well. Uh, the Fifth Quarter with Andy McDowell and uh, also Aidan Quinn was pretty amazing. And that's so far scoring pretty high. Um, so many good films. It's really hard to say. And there's a huge turnout. People from all over come to see 
these films at the festival, right? Absolutely. We do get people from the city, people from Suffolk. We do get some people coming out of the country for their films, and then they yes, stay the week. Yes, I spoke to somebody last year, came all the way from India mm -hmm. just to see his film here at the Long Island Film Expo, and it was really very extraordinary just to speak to him about it. And I also know that uh, this new film, uh, Taught to Hate, that's a very controversial film. Right. A friend of mine is in the film, uh, Helen Primus and her son. Uh, that's another, that's a big controversial film right now. You think that might be winning some awards? Uh, it's possible. It's definitely possible. Uh, possibly maybe humanitarian film, possibly short film, but it did shoot out here on Long Island. A lot of the people in the film are from Long Island, and the subject matter is, as you said, very, very controversial. Very controversial. So we'll see. And a lot of uh, new things and uh, we might even get some unexpected surprises happening. We never know, right? That's absolutely true. Tell my audience if they want to find out more information about the Long Island Film Expo, where can they go on the internet? Okay, they should go to longislandfilm.com. Long Island is spelled out. Uh, schedule will be on there, panels, events, uh, parties, just about everything they need to know will be there. They mm -hmm. can also call the movie theater at 516-783-3199. Excellent. Okay, I can't wait to go to the after party. I'm all excited. <laughs> Are you going to give me a kiss goodbye, doll? Okay. <laughs> we'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more celebrity interviews. Keep watching. Pink champagne. <laughs> them to be more experienced. So you go for it. You live the dream. Who said anything about leaving? You could just come up to my room. Hello darlings. Welcome back to Cognac's Corner. I'm Cognac Willa Lane and we are here at the Long Island Film Expo and I'm here with this fabulous producer, director, actor, Mr. Gary Silverman. Now I understand that your film, or the film I should say that I'm in, is your going. Film too. Yes, it's my film too. It's going to be showing here at the Long Island Film Expo. How exciting! It's great. It's very exciting. Yeah. Now, so far, it's, it's been shown the film in so uh, a, a couple of other places, a couple of other venues. Tell my audience where it's well, been we, shown. Well, we premiered it just for a closed audience uh, when we finished it in the city at, at uh, Anthology Film Archives. And uh, this is the film, first film festival that it's been in and being shown in, so it's very exciting. Very exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Now, are you coming this Sunday for the big party? Yeah, I think so. So I tell me, should my come. Audience, what's next? Next, uh, cashing in the next movie, cashing in, which I have a special role for you, and uh, you know, well, I don't want to say too much about it. We we want to wait till we speak to certain people, but well, it's, right, it's a feature. And you're a little superstitious, and we want to mm. keep that element of surprise, yeah, right? a little bit. Little but bit. you've been well, busy tell doing my audience, stuff. Um, a little bit about the film, the synopsis of the Our film. Our film, Too yes. Good to Be True, a comic tale of mistaken identity. I play one of the leads, Max, a businessman who goes on a family, on a, on a, a business trip away from his family, and uh, he has a boss who's a total womanizing jerk. And he's about to be married to. He happens to, a, to be a very good actor. He's uh, played by Joe Marino, who is hilarious. He's hilarious, and uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's very funny. Um, the uh, very sexy Cat uh, Morello plays Kate, the hit woman, who ends up mistaking me for for my boss and almost kills me right before we're. I think we're about to have sex, and uh, it ends up to be very anticlimactic. Um, for me personally, for the movie, it's it's great. So it's, it's, fun. it's very it's funny. It's very funny. Very funny film. Very I, funny. I can't wait to see it again. I can't either. I'm looking forward to seeing how the audience reacts, and uh, I'm looking forward to just you know doing it again. Terrific. Tell my audience where can they go on the internet to find out more information about you and the film. 
Uh, you can see a trailer for the film at www.citypulse.tv. There's a link for Too Good to Be True and a synopsis and a trailer. You can check that out. And uh, hopefully soon we'll have a link there where you can buy it online. Terrific. Break a leg, darling. You too, Kanye. And we'll be back in a moment with more celebrity interviews. Keep oh, I said, Cognac. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I said, Cognac. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a funny blonde, fancy dress to impress. One of a kind girl. It's been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.